12.55 on the East Coast as we ooh, welcome you to Inside the NBA, presented by Kia from Studio J, where we never close. We don't. Chuck's here, Kenny's here, Shaq's here, I'm Ernie Jones. This is like a real job, though. It's like a real fun job, isn't it? Well, the, when the games are fun. Wow. And, and this one qualifies, this does qual it not? Yes, let yes. Us, let us jump into the highlights of an unbelievable series so far between the Golden State Warriors and the Sacramento Kings. That's a bad man right there. And, and that's, that's a bad man right there. You are right. And Ooh. early on, the oh, strip by that. De'Aaron Fox <clears throat> of Steph Curry leads to this. Golden State were loosey goosey with the ball early on. Yeah, after they got up early, they didn't take care of the basketball, and we're not taking the basketball. Got the Kings back in it, and, and Shaq, as you said at halftime, gave them that confidence. Well, but, but the main thing, when they missed it, Sacramento missed their first 10 threes. They still were hanging in there. That oh, to me was 17, the game. 17 points in the first quarter oh. for Sacramento, then they come back with 41 points oh, baby. in the second. Damanis Sabonis in traffic. Had a better game than he did the first game. Without question. Steph. No way, Kevin. Stepping back. Way. Ugh. He makes it look. Steph effortless. Is. Game tied at 52. Ooh, give me that. Davion Mitchell. Drop to Harrison oh, okay. Barnes. Harrison, HB. HB. 58 52. Kings at the break. Kevin Herter. Little man, red velvet. Hey, hey, man. Uh, trust me. This dude was balling out here today. Part of this 10-0 run for Sacramento. Sabonis with the lefty hook. And then Malik Monk. He Ooh, was, he was oh, all it. Yes, he was. Kings by 14. The lead was cut to eight going to the fourth quarter. And this happened. Watch Sabonis and Draymond Green. And you'll need to take another look from another angle to see how this played out as Sabonis grabbed oh. his foot and then Green stomped on his chest and they went to the table to take a look at it and when the verdict was in hey those histrionics don't a help you when you get your butt kicked. two on Draymond Green ejected from the game and it was a four point game with seven minutes to go 93-88 Curry off glass Tell you what, Mitchell gave him all he could handle on the defensive band. That's but Steph just great. And he ties the game at 95 with five and a half to go. And that man right there said, hey, no, not in my house tonight. Ooh. The Aaron Fox has 26 points in the fourth quarter in this series through two games. Clay Thompson throws down a three. Golden State tried to come back with the late flurry of threes. And this would cut the lead to one, 102-101. They're never out of it. Sacramento right back at you. Look. Okay, so bonus. bonus. Okay, bone bone. And then Fox. Man. Just oh. as silky as you please. Oh, no. that, that was a wolf. 107-101. Curry to the rack. Oh. First they called it a charge. And then they reviewed and they said, no, there's a there's a heel. Inches. Yeah. Inside the restricted area. Curry hit a couple of free throws. Sabonis so finds the open set man and match. Davion Mitchell. And Sabonis so for good measure. I was impressed with Sacramento's defense tonight. I'm not gonna lie. They they're not a good defensive team, but they've been defending this series. One, especially tonight. 114 to 106. For the first time since 2004, the Kings have a 2-0 lead in a series. That came against Dallas in a series that they won in five. And for the first time since 2007, Golden State down in a series 0-2. And it's the first time in his career that Steph has been down 0-2 in a series. This has been wild and crazy to watch and as fun as it can possibly be. Super impressed with the Sacramento Kings. You know, you would think because of how young they are, inexperienced with kick in, kick in, but they got definitely got a lot of poise. They don't panic in any situation. Mike Brown has done an unbelievable job, and they play together, and they believe. When you're young and energetic and you believe and you're playing that way, you can go pretty far. I was once on a team like that with, with you know, with Penny Hardaway. We, we were just young and energetic and 
didn't worry about anything. We just kind of blasted through and then lost to these guys in the finals. But again, I'm super impressed with the Sacramento Kings. Great job. They did what they were supposed to do. Uh, hey, Jeremy, is uh, Steve Kerr at the podium? Let's uh, let's listen in. Steve, what concerns you the most going forward? Was it the 22 turnovers tonight or the inability to really get into your offense against Sacramento's pressure? Yeah, they did a great job defensively of pressuring us, and, and we didn't handle it uh, well enough uh, to win you know, a, a, a playoff game on the road. Um, and with that said, it's a tie game with four minutes left or whatever it was. So uh, we know we have to play better. Um, but we will play better. You know, we're, we're, these guys are champions. You saw what they did in a, in a really difficult situation uh, with a lot of foul trouble, uh, an ejection. Um, the way our guys fought, they showed uh, what they're made of. Um, so now it's a matter of going home and licking our wounds a little bit. And, um, you know, we get a little rest with a couple of days uh, in between games. And uh, we go home and, and take care of our home court. What was your take on the Draymond ejection, and then I guess the what came after that? I didn't see uh, the play um, live, and, uh, and then I didn't see the replay. Um, I asked Zach Zarba what happened. He told me, and um, I was busy with um, you know getting the team ready. A couple, one of the coaches told me uh, he might get ejected, and so I was trying to you know, you know prepare for for what was next. What happened down the stretch? How many you mentioned? And indeed, uh, an ejection did come for Draymond Green there in the fourth quarter. 114-106, the final. Um, 25 to 9 points off turnovers in favor of Sacramento. And in the series, 41 to 14 in a series in which the two games have been decided by a total of, what, 11 points. Three in the first and, uh, and an eight-point eight win tonight. This, this tonight game shocked me. Like the first game was Sacramento. They just try to outscore you. They played great defense tonight. Mitchell, Herter, they were really playing great. I mean, Steph was only, I think, three for left from four, three point land. But three for 13. Three for 13. Like game one, they, they, that was the team that led the NBA in scoring. But today, this was about guts and then playing hard. I was really impressed with Sacramento tonight. They're deeper. That I and you thought they were. They were. I knew that. I thought that's a man. They got some good bench players, but I was like, they keep coming. And Mike Brown has gotten them to play defense because they were not playing defense like this during the regular season. And they really didn't play this good a defense in game one. But today, they didn't shoot the ball well. They got off to a bad start. I thought they took too many threes to start the game. They missed like their first 10 threes, and they got down. But they battled. This was a great win for the Kings. Well, there's a couple things of concern. This is the way Golden State has played on the road all year. They haven't really played well. Uh, they haven't played consistent and able to finish games out. So that would be mark number one. Number two would be they're going to have to figure out what to do in the pick and roll. Their coverage in the pick and roll, allowing De'Aaron Fox to come off and shoot wide open jump shots is not the answer or floaters. There's going to have to be some decision to say this guy is a, a big time scorer if you or will try to be a big time scorer if you allow him to and you have to make a concerted effort possibly to get the ball out of his hand. And then point number three is Golden State has gotten no easy baskets. Uh, they, they've depended and relied solely on the three. Uh, you know, the one thing I always thought that made Steph Curry great and then the Golden State great was they got layups in the half court because Steph would drive. He would have floaters or he would drop passes and lob passes to, to, uh, to their bigs. Draymond Green is reluctant shooter even in the paint. They have to score their bigs in the paint, and they have to make some baskets, some easy baskets, or they will be, you have a gentleman slew of 5-4-1 uh, if they don't change that in these games. They go to Golden State now. The Warriors, one of the best home teams in the NBA, 33-8, and eight, taking on a Sacramento team that had a better record on the road, 25 and 16, than they did at home. And that's the best road record in the West. And so that is uh, wow. game three and game four. Thursday, right here on TNT, and then Sunday on ABC. 2 nothing, Sacramento Kings after their 114 to 106 win as they light the beam again in Sacramento. When we come back, game two in Philly, the highlights of the Nets and the Sixers.
coming up.